and welcome to my channel. Now you join me here really locally, close to my home, of course, for obvious reasons. We're not allowed to go too far away, but I'm getting my daily exercise and I'm really glad that you're with me or I would be all by myself. So today is a, a little bit of a different vlog and I hope you're going to enjoy it. Today we are looking for an old Roman kiln and it's, uh, it's way up there, way up into them woods up there and I'm hoping that it's public right of way and that I can uh, I've just walked all the way along this uh, road here and uh, thought I'd have a word with you at this point and let you know where we're going. So we're looking for a Roman kiln that was used by the Roman army, it was connected to the army definitely and they made tiles for their various fortresses that were around here. So um, hopefully we're going to find it. I don't think it's very easy to find. And also this whole area used to be a colliery. It was known as Grimscar or Grimscar Colliery. Grimscar Road runs all the way up there and uh, this ground round here was uh, was mined way, way back. And uh, back in the 80s, there was actually a, a land collapse around here. And there was a massive, uh, like, I think it was like a 50 foot um, hole in the ground, a huge hole developed overnight. The timbers of the underground shafts had obviously decayed and uh, caused the land to collapse. So luckily it was in the middle of a field, somewhere just about around here and uh, not under a house. Okay, so I've reached the point where the path meets Grimescar. It's Grimescar or Grimscar, I think it's kind of both, but uh, I'm gonna use both. So I've reached the point where the path meets Grimscar Dyke and that's this water flowing down here. And that flows all the way down into Birkby and beyond. So, uh, at this point, I'm, I'm referring to a, a really sketchy map of where this uh, Roman kiln is. I'm just interested to have a look and I hope you are too. Uh, so it's a really sketchy map. So I'm kind of going to be looking, I'm going to be uh, searching around. I'm going to be searching around up here somewhere. So uh, there's going to be a bit of hunting to do before I find it, I'm sure. So them woods that I described way back there when I was on the path, <laughs> I'm in them now and the banking is really steep. You can see how steep the banking is and I'm still searching for this uh, Roman kiln. I really hope to find it. It might not be anything dramatic when I find it, but uh, I just want to see it. And uh, I think you do too. It's been quite a while since we last spoke. I've been looking around for about 20 minutes and I still haven't found it, but I know I must be getting close. And I know that because I've searched everywhere. <laughs> this particular area of Huddersfield is a bit of a forgotten area now. And uh, way before Grimscar Road was uh, made, uh, which is part of the old sort of London Road, as it was known then. Um, this is a forgotten area, like I say, and it was uh, originally really a busy area used by charcoal burners. And they obviously used the trees and the stream and uh, the coppice wood for tools. Uh, so it was really quite a busy area many, many hundreds of years ago. So um, now it's just forgotten. So let's try and find this Roman kiln. Uh, I'll continue searching, bear with me. I'm in the thick of this wood. Um, another half an hour has gone by since we last spoke. I am hot and uh, all this vegetation around me stinks of onion, like garlic. Is it wild garlic? That's making me hungry. <laughs> anyway, I think 
I don't think I'm going to find it. I'm going to have a last look around. Uh, I've got all over there to have a look and it's so uneven and dodgy underground. I'm tripping up every two minutes. Thankfully, I've got the capture clip. That is amazing. I got this yesterday. It's the Peak Design, uh, it's the Peak Design capture clip. And do you know what? That is brilliant because when I'm walking around here, I just clip it on there and I'm hands free. So that is really good. That's my little uh, review of that. <laughs> yeah, the uh, Peak Design capture clip. Definitely recommend it for uh, heavier cameras. Excellent, really enjoying using that. I'm still scanning around. Uh, I've got a feeling it might be down there, could be down here, but it's not going to be obvious. I'll be gutted if I don't find it. got to here I was uh, tired and thirsty so I thought I was going to give up at this point but I'm hoping to still find it. Hope you're enjoying the vlog. Uh, I am not sure if I'm going to actually find this. I think not but I'm going to give it another go. Have a look down there. It might be closer to the road than I think. So uh, let's have another look around. It's so uneven. It's uh, like 45 degrees or more the bank in here. So that's what we've got. You might be able to see it there. I'm gonna hold the camera straight. The banking, that's what we got there. So it's really difficult to, uh, to get about. It'd be interesting to find it though, I wouldn't mind seeing it. It's a Roman kiln to make tiles for the uh, fortresses that they had uh, a couple of miles away from here. There was two fortresses uh, very close to here. So that's what it was for and I'd just like to see it. I found it in an old book and it's a really sketchy map uh, and it does say on it that it's not quite to scale so it could be some massive differences in where it looks like it is. So let's have another look. You would not believe I've had to stop start and uh, yeah I, I did actually give up and I don't even know if I found it, but um, I have given up. And I thought I would come up to have a look at the top part of this wood here, see where it came out. And I found this here. Now this is a long way away from the map that I was looking at. Now this might be it, I haven't been down to have a look. It's right in amongst these trees, as you can see. We're gonna go down there and have a look in a moment. I can see some birds flying in and out of it. But this, this actually might be it. There's a lot of stone around it. So I'm gonna give you a look around uh, the area and then we'll look a little bit closer into the middle. Uh, I think this might be it actually, but I don't really know what I'm looking for. I just know that there's a, a Roman kiln around here and this might just be it. What do you think of it? Having had a close look at it, I'm pretty convinced that that is the Roman kiln that I've been looking for. Uh, you tell me, do you think it is? There's a pretty decent bit of stonework there, isn't there? It looks like it was done only a few years ago. Excellent bit of work. Uh, whoever did that, I could get them to do a garden wall of mine. But yeah, I think, I think this is it. Obviously, it's a hole in the ground uh, built up and it would have had, I think it would have had some kind of a dome, dome-shaped um, roof on it 
made of stone and it's all collapsed and, and fallen over. So um, I'm pretty sure that's it. So if you've got any comments on whether this is it, if you know that it definitely is it, let me know and uh, give me your opinion if you're just guessing. Uh, but uh, I'm glad you've stayed with me on this vlog. I'm so glad that I found it, you have no idea. I only walked up here to this opening up at the top. I can't understand why the person that made the map couldn't put it by this clearing and it would have been obvious I would have made my way up here but they don't put that it's right in the middle of the wood so I'm, I'm unsure whether that is actually it but I came up just to see where I actually was from the road uh, there the road's just down there I don't know if you can see it there's a car coming you better see it that's uh, Grimscar Road down there and uh, I only came up just to see where this led me to out here and then I spotted that. So yeah, I think I found it. I think that's it. So that's it for this vlog. <laughs> Just a little adventure out, getting my daily exercise and I definitely have got it. I'm glad you came with me. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, give me a like, give me a thumbs up and uh, of course, consider subscribing. I upload a vlog every week. So if I don't see you through the week, I will see you in the next one. Bye.